Well, fare hikes, service cuts off the table, at least for now. Governor Kathy Hochul says it is thanks to the recently passed and signed infrastructure bill. New Swell's Michelle Brown at the Greystone Metro North Station in Yonkers with reaction from commuters. It's two fifty dollars a month in Greystone to Grand Central. His commute to work into Manhattan already costs Yonkers resident Ian Kelly several thousand dollars a year. So he's glad the MTA is slamming the brakes on price hikes for now. My thoughts of the price shouldn't be so high in the first place. Pay $3,000 a year to commute down to the city, so um, they shouldn't be raising it in the first place. After losing more than 90% of its ridership during the height of the pandemic, the MTA is now back on track. And it's thanks to the $1.2 trillion federal infrastructure bill signed by President Biden on Monday. Here we go. The agency is expected to get a $10 billion slice of the pie. Governor Kathy Hochul says an MTA fare increase scheduled for this year has now been postponed until 2022. And planned service cuts for 2023 and 2024 are now off the table. I think that's good news. Uh, I think we can all use a break from what we went through past a uh, year and a half over COVID and everyone staying home and you know, I think it's a good thing. Richard Marshall agrees. I like the fact that it's going to be a lower fare. I think that's going to keep a lot of money in people's pockets that can put towards other necessities and taking care of their families. Governor Hochul also says in order to bring people back and fully recover from the pandemic, we need a robust transit system. This influx of cash coming from this $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill should help in that regard. We're at the Greystone Station in Yonkers. Michelle Brown, News 12, back to you.